We're going for the headshots with the ultimate sniper build for the division now. This is our first iteration of the build, so expect better improvements to this build coming soon. So stay tuned here to Open World Games for that and subscribe if you are new. But hello there, my fellow agents. What's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and who's ready for some sniping? Headshot. So we'll start off with the equipment and weapons. We'll be rocking the M1A as it provides a good fire rate with reasonable damage in comparison to the M44. Of course, we can expect more snipers when the game comes out. You can expect reviews on those. The M44 can offer higher damage, but the rate of fire can be problematic. And our secondary will belong to the ACR. As for our gear and equipment, we'll need to build up our DPS or damage by focusing on gear that has the firearm stat. So pay attention to this one when roaming out in the world and collecting your gear. Look for the firearm stat. We'll also be building our skill power, which will increase the power of our equipment and abilities we will be using on the field. So this is not a tank class and we won't be on the front lines at all, so we won't be worried about stamina which of course increases our health we'll be providing support from the back and trying to keep away from getting hit as much as possible while dishing out the damage from a distance Headshot. since we're all about dishing out that damage we will be going for the pulse scan with the mod tactical scanner this will both help us locate enemies and increase our damage output when attacking enemies We'll go one step further by using Reinforced Cover. This will up our survivability and allow us to use it in tandem with the Pulse Scan to increase damage that much more. However, if you do want something to discourage enemies from getting up close and personal to you, uh, because we aren't a tank build, you can exchange the Smart Cover for the turret with the Shock Ability. Now, if you do that, you can also use the Talent Ear Tactics, which does this when you actually shock an enemy. It will trigger a 30% chance to apply the effect to all targets within 10 meters. So it really discourages enemies from even nearing your sniper perch or spot. You really don't want those enemies anywhere near you because of your low stamina. And our signature skill will be Tactical Link, which will also increase our damage output and critical hit chances. And of course, that also applies uh, to our team members as well. So we are helping out our team members there too. And when coming up against an extremely tough enemy, we can overcharge our abilities by activating Pulse Scan, Tactical Link, and Smart Cover to dish out as much damage as possible at one time. Nice. Mentioning talent, you're going to want to grab the following Steady Hands, which does this when you enter cover, it reduces recoil by 25% for 10 seconds. That's going to be really good for sniping, of course, but you're going to have to be quick about sniping because you have 10 seconds to do that. And then you have Repo Reaper, which is this. When you kill a hostile with the sidearm, you receive one magazine for your primary weapon. So just in case we run low on ammunition, uh, your sidearm will hopefully replenish that stock because that has happened to me many times. Then we have Shrapnel, which is being described as this. Applying bleed to any target triggers a 30% chance to apply the effect to all targets within 10 meters. And I think we will be going after a lot of bleed damage if we can find gear and weapons that can really support it. So that's going to be important to remember as well. And you're definitely going to want to grab Stopping Power. Let's say you have one of your buddies suppressing a hostile. Well, the increase to headshot damage is 25% for 10 seconds. And remember the perk talents will increase your active talents by one slot. That means that you will be able to go into battle with five talents. So I recommend considering a precision when you have this fifth talent. It is headshot a hostile to pulse them for 10 seconds because, you know, being aware of where your enemies are is extremely important on the battlefield. And you got to remember that perks are always passive. They are always available and unlocked. It just matters when you unlock them. That's going to be the important thing. Eventually, you will have all perks unlocked. So there you guys have it. A quick look at the Ultimate Sniper Build Iteration version number one. Remember, I will be improving the Sniper Build as we go. But for now, this is what I would recommend if you want to play as a Sniper. Let me know if you would change up anything because really in the division there is no wrong or right with the equipment you could do 
so much stuff with in fact I was considering uh, using the sticky bomb as a mine to discourage people from getting close so that's another thing you could do in tandem uh, with the turret so with the sniper build though you have to remember that uh, you're going for DPS and not health not the stamina so that means you are going to be a little bit weaker and you need to consider retreating and keeping enemies at bay as much as possible but this is a team game and you really do want to consider the synergy between your squad members and you will need support when playing as a sniper class definitely thanks guys so much for watching stay tuned here for more tom clancy the division right here on oprah james and i will see you guys later in the dark zone